Johnny, what was this like? Um, I never, never had a workout like that before, but you now I'm happy to be able to get as much experience as I can in before uh, I hopefully get drafted and uh, go play in the season. You say you never had a workout like that before. What do you mean? A high intensity. You know, I mean, like, of course, when we, like, when I practiced in college or in high school, you know, we're doing the same drills, but um, it's, it's definitely not as intense as doing it for an NBA team. Was it, was it the fact that you have a lot on the line here, or was it that, that it was really a physically grueling? Uh... I, mean, I mean, a little bit of both. I try not to put too much pressure on myself and just go out there and play. Um, I wouldn't, not too physically grueling. I mean, you know, those coaches, those guys gave me a, a decent look, but nah, just, just the intensity of it and, you know, willing to go out there and compete and show them what I can do. Just talk about how would you like me to work on today? Uh, the the conditioning, honestly. I mean, I I didn't like it, but I like that it taught me something that I need to go back, uh, back to Miami with my agency and do a lot more conditioning. And as you go through this process, what are some of the things you want teams to say about your game? Uh, you know that I have an all-around game. I can do a little bit of everything, uh, and that I, overall I just compete as hard as I can every time I step on the floor. And then playing in the big, how do you feel like that prepared you for this next level? Playing in the Big Ten. Yeah. Um, shoot, the physicality of it, probably. Um, you know, every every night, night in, night out, it's always going to be a battle uh, down to the wire. And have you had any league guys maybe reach out to you, give you support, or help you out through this process? Um, no, not really. Um, you know, it's just I just get the support I need from my family. What what conditioning drills did they put you through? Uh, well, the la the last one, 20 touches in two minutes, especially after I was going one on one with those guys. I'm um, just getting right into it, no breaks. Uh, you know, I, I really like that because it's just going to, you know, condition me for the 82-game regular season. How did uh, your football career enhance what you do on the basketball court? Definitely the physicality of it. Um, you know, playing QB, you're trying to run from a lot bigger guys than me all the time, and I'm, you know, taking shots everywhere. So um, the physicality mostly and just being under certain pressure situations. In terms of in terms of decision making, making um, point blank decision making, it's, I would assume that being a quarterback really translates to what you do on the basketball court. Yeah, it, it definitely does. Um, you know, I, I still think that's something I need to work on, but you know, it, it definitely helps a lot being a QB. We didn't see hardly any of your workout, but the part we saw with your shooting from three was impressive. I think at one stage you made eight of ten. Mm -hmm. uh, what does that say about your ability, given that? They were uh, they were working it pretty hard. Yeah, um, it just shows my ability to not quit. You know, there was a little stretch there where I honestly thought I couldn't breathe, but you know, those guys they were they were telling me to you know just keep going, keep pushing through it. So that's what I did. And then once I got to the shots, I just tried to you know be as calm and cool as I could while shooting them. When you were at the combine in Chicago, did you interview with this team? Yes, I did. And uh, what were your what are your impressions of the front office and their interest in you? Uh, well, Mr. Shepard's a really cool guy. You know, I saw him at the lottery and in the interview. I enjoyed talking to him. Um, Coach Unseld seems like a really hardcore, intense dude. I could tell that sitting in the interview. So, um, you know, I, I, I like that kind of coach. You know, he's, he's all business, no jokes. You know, I think people in this area are always curious what the outside perception is. So what did you know about the Wizards kind of going into this process before all the interviews started, before the workouts started? Um, I know they probably didn't have the season they wanted to this past year. Um, back when they had John Wall, I watched him a lot. You know, I, I really enjoyed watching him, and especially Bradley Beal. I think that's a player that you know I could really try to model my game after. People at Wisconsin have, have kind of talked about competitiveness and drive and stuff like that with you. In a workout like this, how do you get that to show through when, when it's kind of a limited window there? Uh, just trying to be able to make as many shots as I can. You know, especially when we're keeping track of the numbers. And that little one-on-one -on -one segment we had are just, uh, you know, up and down defensively. Um, you know, defensively just try not to let anybody score on me and offensively go get a bucket any time. What was your first love in sports? Was it football, was it basketball, or maybe something else? Um, at, at first, it was honestly both of them. I played baseball a little bit, too. That, that wasn't really, you know, my, my style. But um, basketball and football, when I was younger especially, I, I really loved playing them both, just going out there competing with my friends. Um, when it started to become a little more competitive and a little more serious, I always knew that basketball was going to be my route. What, uh, where have you worked out before today? This is my first workout. Okay, so we, that's interesting because we noticed as the prior workout was going on, you were sitting on the bleachers. It was kind of like a field goal kicker 
getting ice before he kicked. Oh yeah, yeah. No, when I when I saw them doing the condition running up and down, I was like, I, no, I better get ready for that mentally, especially. <laughs> did, look, you're a seasoned player. You've proven so much. But was there an element of nerves as you're sitting there waiting to have your first NBA solo workout? Definitely. Um, you know, especially with you know the projections and all that right now you know i feel like this is a spot i could land at and be able to come in and make an impact right away so i just want to be able to show the whole front office and the coaches you know that i can that i can hoop what's it like to have had a to have a dad who played in the league and might be able to give you among many other people some advice leading into all of this um it's, it's amazing you know he he was the one that first introduced me to the game and you know it's the first First time I picked up a ball, I, f I fell in love with the game, and I appreciate him for everything he's done for me um, and all the knowledge he's been willing to share with me throughout this process as well. I have to ask you this because I watch a lot of TV. How did the Taco Bell endorsement <laughs> come about? Um, that, that's my, my marketing manager. Her name's Katie Wool. She's, she's really great. You know, um, I'm happy that I'm with the agency and I'm with her. Um, you know, One of the agreements was that I had to wear a purple suit on draft night, which... Honestly, I wouldn't have done, but you know, we, we negotiated a little bit and took that out the deal. So, um, but now overall, I mean, it was a really great experience for me. I had never been, never done something like that before, and seeing seeing that commercial air during like the Western Conference Finals of the playoffs was really, really huge for me. Does it make people recognize you even more? Yeah, uh, at the airport on the way here, I had a few people ask me if I was in the Taco Bell commercial, and I told them, yeah. <laughs> it's at it's at National Airport or in Milwaukee or. Uh, I was I, I've been in Miami training, okay. so I was at the Miami airport. <clears throat> John, as you as you go through this process, how you, how you gonna relish it, savor it, and just enjoy the moment? Um, I mean, you know, I, I only get to go through this once in my entire life, my entire career. So, um, just you know, being able to come in here and work as hard as I can and show show this team or any other team what I can do, and just you know, compete and just hoop the way I do. I think. Uh, your dad once mentioned in an interview that you're a big Michael Jordan fan, or at least were as a younger person. Yeah. Uh, was it, did it go through your mind over the last 48 hours that, hey, you're trying out for a team that he used to be, play for? I, mean, mm. even, I know you got a million things on your mind, but is it? Uh, not really. I mean, I saw I saw his jersey out there in the facility. It was cool to see that. But um, now I would say I really, you know, started becoming a Michael Jordan fan after the Last Dance documentary. Um, I really enjoyed watching that show and just being able to see what went on behind the scenes. In your work preparing for these types of workouts, what areas of your game have you really tried to sharpen up? Mainly shooting. Uh, just because I didn't shoot the way I wanted to this past season at Wisconsin. Um, well, when I go back, now I need to know I, now I, know, know I need to work on conditioning. Um, you know, that, that kind of kicked me in the ass a little bit at the end, but um, you know, I'm, I'm glad he did. It just shows me that I, I got a lot of to work on. You mentioned you're not, you weren't too happy with your shooting numbers. How much of that was affected by the ankle injury you had? Um, the ankle injury was only the last, like, two or three games of the season. Um, you know, I thought at the beginning of the season I was shooting it very well. Once teams got the scouting report out, I think I shot a lot, I had to shoot a lot more contested shots because I wasn't getting any open looks. So that could have been a reason why my numbers dropped.